Hey folks, what's here? Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. And uh, at the end of the month, as usual, we'd, uh, you know, sort of sort out all the new units and then, you know, see if there's any other changes that we want to uh, amend to the tier list. And uh, we sort of update it, right? And, well, I guess it's pretty much end of the month right now, March 28th, right? At least in my time zone. So, anyways, let's, uh, let's, let's go over these, right? So, um, as usual, we're not going to go over the, the ones that we've already done last time, right? I'll, I'll leave a link in the description box down below or whatever. If you want to see last month's, um, you know, uh, tier list explanations, all that stuff. And if you want to go even before that, there's, there's, there's another link that there's a, there's a chain of links that you could <laughs> figure out if you want to go down that rabbit hole. But anyways, uh, yep. Uh, that being said, let's uh, get into this one. So, uh, first of all, shoutouts, uh, Runner Joe and Donson from our uh, Discord server for helping uh, out, you know, creating this, uh, you know, tier list, right? So, let's get into this. So, uh, first, let's go over some changes, right? So, that, you know, j j just just some units, you know, we, we felt uh, didn't really fit with the rest of tier or whatever, right? For one reason or another, right? So, uh, first one we're going to talk about is in the uh, support slash utility category, which is Faulkner. Faulkner's fine. He's a great unit, all that stuff. Um, it just feels like uh, it, like his offensive you know, buffing cape builds are very, very good and all. It's just sometimes his survivability might not be the best, right? Um, and also the buffing sequence is slightly janky, so... Uh, we're gonna move him down one for now. Uh, conversely, we will move Classic Red up one. Um, he's just very... He's very convenient of a unit, if that makes sense, right? Very, very, very convenient. Uh, so, you know, with the super effective up, the crit buff, sync move countdown, especially now that we have Head Start as a lucky skill, right? If you run, like, Head Start instead of Vigilance on him, that's gonna be really, really nice, like, to shave off, um, sync move countdowns, right? So, uh, yeah, he's, um... He's gonna, you know, be moved up there. Let's see, what else should we move? Um, let's see. Oh, as you could probably tell, there's a big gap over here because uh, we added a tier in between, right? Just to move some units around. Um, so, we add another tier in between the, the, the first and second. And in that, we're gonna move SS Erica up one. SS Erica, just a very. Well, I wouldn't say very easy, but relatively easy to set up Sync Nuke. Very, very powerful. Obviously, has the Sun stuff, right? Uh, our single target DPS is very, very good, right? Or, uh, obviously, Nuke is very, very nice as well. And just a very reliable, solid, you know, Weather Sider that could deal some really, really good damage, right? And um, also, conversely, we will move any end down a bit. Don't get me wrong. He is very, very good, right? He's a great unit, right? I mean... Yeah, SS Erica's a great unit, right? And that's why they're they're among the top, you know, uh, tiers up here. But uh, he's still very great in Gauntlet, in the sense that he does have piercing glows of uh, blows, piercing glows, blows, which is very very good for Gauntlet, right? Um, but outside of that, he does have some issues, right? Uh, for fellas, just that he doesn't really provide as much um, as some of the other units up there, right? And also. Uh, his overall, it, like, his damage is not that great, right? His DPS is rather mediocre, unfortunately. Um, he does have a very powerful Sync Nuke, but it's also not a very well-set-up Sync Nuke. His utilities is also not very good, um, in comparison to some other units that have similar capabilities. Like, for example, like, look at his Noble Roar. Would you rather use his Noble Roar, or would you rather use Getsus' Noble Roar? Noble Roar on Getsus is just much more, um... Uh, fluid. Same thing with like maybe something like a Champion R. Champion R is also a bit better at doing that, right? Move Gauge Salvation is really, really nice, right? That's why he's still very good and all. Right? But um, overall, set up again. Setup's not the best. Doesn't really provide your team with as much as some of the other you know units do. Again, he does. That's why he's still all the way up here. But um, yeah, he's, uh, he's 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 still good. He's he's still good. Just maybe doesn't provide um, as much as some of the other units up there. Uh, two, you know, in the hybrid tier list, right? Moving on. Uh, let's see. It, well, don't worry, we'll, we'll have more in here. It's not just gonna be two units in here. <laughs> um, Lysander. Lysander, um, the big one, uh, that we got this month was Flying Zone, right? So, 
uh, you would expect a lot of, I guess, flying type units to to get their spots changed. One of them being Lysander, right? Uh, could definitely move, uh, definitely could move Lysander up one. I feel right. His damage is actually not uh, not terrible anymore, <laughs> right? So uh, there's there's that for Lysander. Uh, what else is there? Anyone else over here specifically? Hmm. I think I think we're good here. Uh, Drock didn't really get much better with. Skyla, unfortunately. Holiday Skyla doesn't even work with regular Skyla. And yeah, that's that's alright, that's that's it for the hybrids, I guess. Um let's move on to some of the damage healers over here. Um uh, let's see. We have uh Annie Steven. Nice promotion, right? Annie Steven finally did get a flying zone partner. Again, it's not a perfect partner, but it's a solid one. It's it's you know, it's it gives him flying zone, which is honestly <laughs> what he uh what he would want, right? So he's definitely much uh better. Uh, another one would be NY Lance, right? Also very 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 powerful with the extra flying zone buff. Uh, one more I'd say would be regular uh, Dragonite. Regular Dragonite, it's like um he has really similar setup to NY Lance, right? In terms of just setup wise, and he does similar damage to NY Lance as well. Uh, I personally don't really see why you wouldn't have these two in the same tier. Again, he's a that he's a million dam you know he he's he's a plus million damage dealer, right? There's not a lot of units in the game that could do more than one million damage, and Lance is one of them, right? So so there's that. Um any other flying types? Blue we can move him up one. Blue actually works decently well with Skyla. There's some upsides and downsides. Upsides is it's rather rather easy to activate any Harry multipliers for blue, which is really nice. Downside is both of them want to sink, which kind of sucks, right? Because blue, you have to sink for him to uh, be usable at all, right? And and it just takes away from from uh, Skyla's any Skyla sink, which is obviously a much much better sink, right? Uh, anyways, um, anyone else? Uh, Nate, Nate, not really. Again, Nate's big upside. Well, it's not even that big. It's not even that good of a nuke, but he's like upside is he has a decent striker nuke, um, which is pretty worthless when you run it with Skyla because Skyla's nuke is like a billion times better, right? Okay, let's uh, get into some of the new units and such. So, as a Serena, obviously, this is a no brainer. One of the best units in the game, right? One of the best damage dealers in the game as well. Um, really good for both, you know, dragon and ground type damage. Uh, just incredible, incredible of a unit on so many different fronts. There's really nothing too much to say here. It's SS Serena again, one of the best damage dealers in the game. Uh, let's get into some of the hybrids. Uh, Wilkstrom, I'd say, had a solid buff, right? I'd say he's, I, I could see him maybe going into the very good tier, right? Like, his damage is solid. Um, again, he has some really, really nice uh, semi-support capabilities with King Shield, Inspire Iron, now that he could draw aggro as well, right? Uh, so he could contribute some debuffing stuff as well, but it's just his damage is really, really good now. Again, in Steel Zone with the extra stuff that you get, um, and the way how, you know, his stats are calculated, right? So that's really, really nice. Kalem, I think it's being, like, useful one. Um, I... He's, I find him a bit similar to like maybe a Morty, right? He has a solid sync nuke, but outside of that, his regular DPS is rather mediocre. But he does also provide some other stuff for, for the team, right? For example, Morty provides, um, you know, you can burn the opponents, right? And then uh, in Kalem's case, he could paralyze, confuse the opponents. And then Kalem could also buff your team's speed, has very, very good speed himself. So uh, I do like Kalem. I, I like Kalem. I think he's a solid unit, uh, but I don't think he's anything crazier, right? Um, moving on. Holy Seabold, I mean, it, it, it is what it is, I guess. He's just a solid water nuker that could, you know, give you some other stuff, maybe burn a bit, actually lead buffs here and there. And so, yeah, probably, probably in good, right? So, um, yeah, that's Holy Seabold, moving on. Annie Raihan. Annie Raihan is very, very good. Uh, the more I use him, the more I like him, honestly. You just give so much stuff to your team. The special attack up next, the tap up next, the 
uh, the, the, the super effective up next, right? He seems more of a... I would honestly put him in utility instead of hybrid if it weren't for the fact that he has a very, very powerful nuke and some very, very powerful max move damage. Obviously, he sets weather stuff as well, which honestly, I haven't found extremely useful. I mean, it's good if you need it, but like, I just find like all the other stuff that he does very, very well on top of the fact that he could also, you know, set weather and do some good damage, right? So... Uh, he would be in this, uh, you know, crazy tier, right? Very, very, very good. Uh, so, yeah, that's Annie Raihan. Next, we got Annie Skyla. Annie Skyla, just for the fact that she sets Flying Zone, is very, very good. She also does buff your whole team's speed, which is really, really nice. Um, she does have the flinch thing, which I'm not a huge fan of, right? I wish it was a... I wish it was more of like a single target flinch, but like with higher rates. I'm not a- I don't really like AoE flinches personally. Uh, but it's good. It's definitely good. I'm not saying it's bad. But, uh, also a very, very powerful, relatively easy to set up nuke. Uh, I'd say she'd, you know, easily be up here as well with, uh, Annie Raihan. And then the last of the three, we got, uh, Annie, Mei, and Megalodios. I'd- I'd still say would be in the, you know, similar tier here as well, right? Um, Psychic Terrain, you know, Psychic Type's one of the top teams in the game, right? Uh, very, very solid miss ball damage, has that extra special, you know, uh, uh, debuffing, right? A uh, very, very, very powerful Sync Nuke as well, yet free moves within Psychic Terrain, right? Free move next inside of Psychic Terrain, uh, it's just incredible, right? Her, Lear, SS Losing, unstoppable, incredible, incredible team. Alright, moving into some uh, utility tiers, uh, we have Clement Heliosk. Honestly, Clement Heliosk, uh, he did get an EX. Uh, it's not a big deal, right? He has one of the, you know, worst... He's not, well, he's not, like, the worst, but, like, he's definitely down there in terms of, like, really, really bad uh, setup nukes, right? So it's not really that big of a deal. Um, honestly, this guy barely changed, even with the EX. So, I mean, still put him useful, too, because he does have the... Speed debuffs, which are nice, accuracy debuffs, all that stuff, which is rare to see, but otherwise a relatively uninteresting uh, upgrade, right? Uh, speaking of uninteresting upgrades, we have Ramos Victory Bell over here. I mean, you can still sleep, get the extra rolls on the defense debuffs, right? Yeah, MP refresh, not MP refresh, move gauge refresh on. Sleep powder is nice. I guess you get that plus one accuracy on entry if you want that. Don't want a real troublemaker or whatever, but. Um, yeah, I guess you can still sleep, which is still nice, but otherwise, uh, another, again, relatively un uninteresting upgrade, and in contention for one of the worst units in the game, we have Wolfric and Avalog, right? Um, this guy's just terrible. The, the upgrades to his kit are not good, it doesn't help his damage, his, you know, utility, his flinch-freeze thing is terrible, right? Because you can't flinch and freeze at the same time, there's not a lot of units that really utilize both flinch and freeze either. Uh, he's very, very slow, like, adding him onto your team a lot of times will just be a straight-up negative, right? Because of how much he brings down your entire team's, you know, move gauge regen, right? Very, very slow. His lowest gauge use is a two-gauge move, right? Uh, he's not that good defensively. Uh, it's just a lot of teams. If you, It's like your team would much be better, uh, uh, would a lot of times be better off if he was not on your team at all, right? So, um unfortunate i guess <laughs> is that a bit too harsh am i am i being a bit too harsh anyways <laughs> oh also we did slightly reorganize the uh the second and third tier over here as well i think we added one in between uh we moved up a few we moved up uh ss elisa um what's her name palatine's b and near sabrina just because these three are just clearly better than you know these guys down here uh move down skyla one skyla has been up there for honestly more, more longer than she should have really overstayed her welcome uh you know skyla's for a lot of newer players skyla's still really really nice and fun uh but skyla eventually does uh drop up of many factors uh because she's not that great of an offensive buffer her defensive buffs uh there are just better defensive buffers in the game at this moment right and it's just really, she's just really nice for speed. Which is true, she's a good, you know, speed buffing unit. Which is why she's still up here, but uh, again, doesn't really warrant her being in like second tier or something outrageous, right? So, 
Um, yeah, anyways, I guess that's me. This one, I guess, hope you all enjoyed me, guys. Think of the comments down below. Uh, like, just videos for our channel, some more Paul Mouse's content. Again, just, you know, um, uh, my, my, uh, me and my team's opinion, obviously. Uh, impossible to get a, uh, perfect a list here, but, uh, you know, just some, uh, just how I sort of feel about uh, a lot of these with, uh, sometimes a lot of, uh, you know, research numbers, all the stuff to back it up, so. Have fun, folks, and I'll see you guys uh, later today, then.